I will give thanks to thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are thy works, and my soul knows its well. My frame was not hidden from thee when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book they were all written. The days that were ordained for me, when as yet there is not one of them. One of the world's most famous sculptures, sculptors and artists was Michelangelo. But when Michelangelo was in his early to mid-twenties, based on the information I got, he was asked to create a sculptor. A sculptor. But at this point in his life, he didn't have much money. Where would he get his medium? Where would he get the marble from to create this work of art? Back in those, time, back in those times, uh, things were really difficult. And Michelangelo went to where all the other sculptors threw their waste. I guess that's where we could sort of say one man's trash is another man's treasure. And Michelangelo found this block of marble that he was going to create this sculpture from. So as he worked on this for about two years, it said that he was able to look at the piece of marble and see what it was going to look like even before he started. So for years, he sculpted away. That sculpt, that piece of art that we know today is a picture, is, is not a picture, but the sculpture is of Mary holding her son Jesus in his lap. It's called a piata. As parents, teachers, coaches, sometimes we could see what something is going to look like before it's done. Our children. A teacher could see something in a student, what they're going to be one day. This morning as we look at the cross, God knew what our potential was. He knew what we could be. It didn't mean we're not going to sin. We all have lots of that. But he knew what we could be, what he called us to be. But he knew for us to reside with him one day, something else had to happen. And that's what we're here to celebrate this morning. Our sin had to be removed, just like Michelangelo chipped the marble away to create his work of art. Jesus Christ went to the cross to remove our sin away and make us whole in Jesus. That's the message we need to take to the world. No matter how much sin someone thinks they have, they can be redeemed by the cross of Jesus Christ. So will you pray with me this morning? Heavenly Father, we are not perfect. But we know because of the work that was done on the cross by Jesus Christ, we are made perfect. We are your perfect creation. And Father, I pray this morning, as we all do, that during this Christmas season, the world will turn to you. The world will know how much you love them and that you sent your Son from the perfectness of heaven to a very sinful world and that he gave his life for us. Father, this morning now we're going to ask for your blessing upon the bread, which represents the body of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen. <clears throat>